There's a black man hiding on top of the comma. There's a black man hiding in your hate deeps. Sing that. There's a black man hiding, hiding. Oh, Bilal is here. On the top of the Kaaba. The man that woke up. There's a black man hiding, hiding. The law was a picture of the black. On the top of the Kaaba. He is black. You see a rab. Hit the spot. The Arabian. And she refused to it's tell him where he was. Hiding the spot. You see, Ray. Go to Song of Solomon. Hit the Chapter spies, 1. Spies. And she Five refused through six. The to El tell us who they are. Who is a black man. Are. Song of Solomon. That's the real truth right there. That right there is very advanced. But one day you'll understand that. What I'm saying in this song is there's a black man hiding. On the top of the Kaaba, there's a black man hiding in the Hadiths. And this black man is the Al Madi. This black man is Lamanti. He is the last and final messenger, the man who will completely clean up this earth and he will thoroughly purge his floor and he will gather all the wheat into his barn but he will burn the shaft with an unquenchable flame this man is hidden in the bible he's in there but he's hidden but the prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him he actually gave us his name in the hadiths and the problem that's going on in arabia is they have rejected their messianic figure and nothing is going to go good for them right now they are being mocked and God's hand is very heavy upon them simply because they are rejecting the stone and the scriptures say that the stone that the builders rejected that's talking about the mountain that is talking about Lamonti. The stone that the builders rejected, the same has become the al Madi. The same man has become the chief cornerstone. The same man has become the last and final messenger. Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him, was going into a type and shadow of this last and final messenger when he said the shahada he was not calling himself the messenger of allah he was talking about the al madi he was talking about his ruler the ruler of all the arabians is the al madi now this is advanced knowledge and it might take you some time to catch up so today, my focus, my aim is to be direct with you. I want to help you. Now, let's deal with that scripture in 1 Samuel 5, 1, where it talks about the Palestinians receiving a harsh judgment from God for trying to take something that does not belong to to them now the prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him he told you guys that the al madi is coming and when he comes he will be your ruler and as long as you keep rejecting the stone you're going to constantly receive chaos all these babies that are dying you can't necessarily blame it on israel OK, you got to point the finger back at yourself. You got to point the finger at your scholars because they claim to be in the knowledge of God when they are not in the knowledge of God. Now, let's keep going. First Samuel, chapter five, verse one. And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. Meditate on Ashdod. Ashdod is going into Wa'ashadu. The Palestinians, the Muslims, okay? The nation of Islam. We say Wa'ashadu. This is how you know. This is spot on prophecy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed me this. 
I'm not that smart to come up with this stuff on my own. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the master of the day of judgment. Verse 6, but the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod or Wa'ashadu. He destroyed them. He destroyed Wa'ashadu and smote them. With emeroids, even Ashdod and the coast thereof, even Wa'ashadu. The hand of the Lord is heavy upon the Islamic people. Extreme heat, more than 1,300 men and women died during Hajj this year from extreme heat. Okay, this stuff is real. God is judging the nation of Islam for not receiving their mati. Okay? As long as you ignore the true messenger of Allah, all you're doing is you're making Muhammad an idol. You're making your prophet an idol by not receiving his ruler, the al Madina. I'm here. Now, I know there's no one. On this planet with this type of knowledge. Because Allah is dealing with me. He's dealing with me about the nation of Islam. Now let's keep going. Let's recap. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod. And this is the Philistines. Inside Philistines is Palestine. And this is in the land of Palestine. Where the Philistines are in this context. And he destroyed them and smote them with emeroids, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. You see the ark, okay, that is from Israel. Islam came from Israel, newsflash. Remember Abraham. Abraham told his servant to pick him a wife out for his son Isaac. That servant was not supposed to remain with that wife. And that's exactly what's happening in the nation of Islam. The servant, the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was not supposed to keep that religion. That religion was supposed to be passed like a baton to the al Madi. Now, I'm going to break it down a little bit because I know we are slow. Low, 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 the low, prophet low, low, Muhammad, low. peace and blessings be upon him, was a servant. And Abraham charged him to pick out a wife for Isaac. Who is Isaac? Isaac is metaphorically going into Isa. Isa is the Messiah in Islam. And what's happening right now is the Islamic people are keeping that wife to themselves. No, the servant cannot keep what belongs to the heir. And so unless they pass the baton to the al -Madi, then they're going to continue to suffer hardship. You see, I am the husband of the nation of Islam. That's why the Hadith says, I am the ruler of the Arabs. Now, a smart question for you to ask is, then why is Jesus the Messiah of the nation of Islam? This is the question right here answered. Your Messiah, the prophet Isa, got caught up in the lie of Christianity. And so in the Quran, it tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause Jesus to die. And so Jesus had to pass the baton to who? Jacob, just like Isaac. Isaac didn't start the 12 tribes. Jacob started the 12 tribes. Isaac was blind. Isaac was deceived. And so his son, Jacob, started the 12 tribes. This is why Isa, Isa was supposed to be the ruler. He was supposed to, but he got caught up in Christianity's lies, all because of Paul. And so Esau, who the right belonged to, okay, he was caught up in what? The flesh. 
And what happened? His brother crept up. The smooth man. Okay, Jacob. Jacob got the blessing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I give him all the praises. Because the al Madi is the Jacob. Now, think about Jacob. Jacob was smooth skin. I'm smooth skin. Don't even have a beard. And his mom put the hair on him for him to take the blessing that originally belonged to Jesus. And I meditated on that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to me that that was my mom when she named me Daquant Lamonte Clay. Now, my brother was named Brandon and my other brother was named Carl. But for some reason, my mama named me the stone. That the builders rejected. She named me Daquant Lamonte Clay. This is why your prophet told you to love your mother. Love her, love her, love her. And I love my mama. I love my mama because my mama gave me the kingdom. If it wasn't for my mama naming me Daquant Lamonte Clay. Naming the, naming me the name that's in your hadith, the rock, the stone, the mountain. If she didn't do that, I would be in trouble right now, okay? It would be hard for you to believe that I am who I am. But my mom put the air on me, but my mom put the hair on me because I was the one that got the blessing. Peace and blessings be upon the prophet Isa. This is why we all going to be crying. It's sad. The prophet Isa was supposed to be the Messiah of Islam. But he had to pass that baton all because of Christianity. That's why I hate it. I hate it. I hate Christianity. Christianity is so wicked. And this is the reason why Paul got a prison named after him in hell. This stuff is serious. There's no one on the planet with this insight. It's because the Lord of the worlds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is talking to me. Now, we established the fact that when the Philistines took the ark, they were in trouble. God's hand was heavy upon Ashdod, upon Wa'ashadu, upon the Philistines, upon on the Muslims. Why? Because they're trying to keep something that doesn't belong to them and their prophet. It belongs to the al Madi. Now let's go to 1 Samuel 17 and 40. And we're going to confirm that Lamonti is the stone. 1 Samuel 17 and 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones. Why did it say smooth? Because Jacob was a smooth man. Five stones out of the brook. My dad's name is Monty Brooks. You can interpret stone by the brooks. And put them in a shepherd's bag. A shepherd is a prophet. The prophet Muhammad was a shepherd. Which he had even in a script. Your prophet. Put my dad in your hadith. And his sling was in his hand. That's going into the songs Allah has given me. I'm a singer of the Lord. Going on. And he drew near to the Philistine or the Palestinian or the Arabian. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it. And sang it. So sling it is going into singing it. I have songs as you can see how I started this message off. I was singing and slang it and sang it. See and smote the Philistine in his forehead. Wow. Because in your head deep it tells you that his nose will be big. That he will have a broad forehead. And that's a metaphor too. That's not talking about a person just having a big forehead and a big nose. This is going into this man knows a lot going on. And 
the stone sunk into his forehead and fell upon his face to the earth. This is what's going to happen when I pull out my ID and I say, look, I'm Daquan Lamonte Clay. My dad name is Monty Brooks. My dad is the stone that your prophet, peace be upon him, a type and shadow of David, David put David, in the hate deep. And I am the Lamonty, throwing my daddy's name, Monty Brooks, into the head of your Islamic scholars. Your prophet set you up for destruction. He was the David that put Monty Brooks in a script. He did that. He put my daddy's name in your Hadiths. Okay? That's the stone. That's the stone that's in your forehead right now. Right now. My dad is your prophet's dad. Lamonti is the mantle. Mohammed is our mantle. Okay? It didn't make a difference if the prophet Muhammad said my father's name. My father's name is Muhammad. Muhammad is our mantle. So even if he said my father's house, he was using the mantle of Lamonti. You see mantle and Lamonti? Wake up. I am Muhammad. I am the man. D. That is our name. Now let's get the hey deep. Let's get the hey deep real quick so you can learn something. Now, a lot of our brothers that are in the nation of Israel and Christianity, you don't know about this hey deep, okay? This is all going to be new to you. But the Arabians knew it and they put a white man on a horse, okay? A man with no melanin. You put an Arabian on a horse thinking he was the Monty because you have no knowledge. So let's get that. Book 31, number 4269, narrated by Abdullah Abin Musa. That's our name. We are the Abdullah. That's what they called me when I went into the mosque. Before I even told them I was the Monty, they gave me the name Abdullah because the truth will follow the truth. Narrated by Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, if only one day of this world remained, Allah would lengthen that day according to the version of Zahada, till he raise up in it a man who belongs to me or to my family, whose father's name is the same as my father. Muhammad is our name. I am Muhammad. I am the Mahdi. My father's name is Monty, and I am Lamonti. And that name agrees with one another. This man will fill the earth with equity and justice as it has been filled with oppression and tyranny. Sufan's version says, The world will not pass away before the Arabs are ruled by a man of my family whose name would agree with my name. Now, that's the same thing. That's why they have so many different versions of it. One says, The name will be the same as my father's. One says, His name will agree with my name because I am Mohammed, I am the Mahdi, and my father's name is Monty, and I am Lamonti. I am the stone that the builders are rejecting. And when Muhammad said that, it was just like I was saying that. Why? Because that is our book. I am the heir and he is the servant. That is our family name. And the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He was a good steward of my family name. I am my father is one. Okay, Monty and me are one. Monty and Lamonti is one. This is the double mountain. Allah made us one. This is what Jesus was trying to tell y'all. But he was speaking in a parable and it was going over your head because you take everything literally just like the Arabians are taking that the prophet Muhammad said of my stock. Literally. No, 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 no. Let that sink in. Yeah, I put a pause so you let that sink in. Your prophet has the same dad as me, Monty Brooks. It's only going to take a little bit of time. It's just going to take a little bit of time before the truth to come out. Now, this is the reason why Satan tries his best to keep my YouTube channel low volume. It's because I have the truth. You see, the truth is not popular right now. The truth is not popular. So now let's deal with this Lamonti, this rock. 
this stone, this mountain. This is going to be Matthew 21, 42. Jesus was speaking in parables. He only spoke in parables. Verse 42, Jesus said unto them, did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. This stone is Lamonti. This stone is the stone that came from Monty Brooks, and now it is Lamonti. I'm just the chip off of the old rock. As one woman told me a long time ago, your daddy was a rolling stone. Now let's go to verse 43. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Now let's pause. Israel created the first golden calf when they asked for a king. And then the second set of golden calves came from Christianity. And this is all going into Jesus and Paul. Jesus and Paul. Paul. So now this kingdom is going to be taken from Israel, is going to be taken from Christianity, and is going to go to Islam. Because watch this verse 44. And whosoever shall fall on this stone, this Lamonti, shall be broken. This is going into the world receiving the Lamonti. This is going into the Arabics receiving their ruler. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. This is exactly the same precept in Deuteronomy 18. In verse 19, it reads, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. I'm holding you accountable. Jesus even said, whatever you say about me will be forgiven. But whatever you say against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven in this world and in the world to come. I am Mr. Cleanup Man. I've been charged to clean up this entire earth. Now, when we go back to Matthew 21, 43. Let's go to verse 45 and let's get some understanding. Let's get some true understanding. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been revealing this truth to me. That's why it makes sense. Let's go to verse 44 and start. And whoever shall fall on this stone, Lamonti, shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priest, who is the chief priest? The nation of Israel. And in the metaphor, it is the house of Aaron, which is Islam. You see, the prophet Aaron was a spokesman for Moses because he could speak better. And the Arabians speak the language of the Quran. And so now let's just keep going. Watch this. The chief priest and who? The Pharisees. Now we know the Pharisees as the Christians. Paul was a Pharisee. He was the son of the Pharisees. And the Pharisees had that belief that one man should die for their sins. So let's keep going. And when they heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. Two religions are being judged. Christianity is being judged and Islam is being judged because they're trying to keep the ark. They're just like the Philistines. The Philistines took the ark and as long as they had that ark, they were cursed. Okay. And when they sent that ark off, they couldn't send it away empty. And you, you cannot send this ark away empty. And right there, you just have it. I gave it to you. I broke it down to you since I had a day off. I'm at home finally. Most of the time I'm teaching. I'm on the road. I'm working. But right now I'm giving it to you in its full meaning. My dad is the stone that's in your forehead right now. I am Lamonti and my dad name is Monty Brooks. The stone by the brooks that Joe Prophet put in the Hades. Let that stone sink in a little bit.
just let it let it sink in. Let it sink in. Uh-huh. Because messianic figures or messiahs never come the way you want them to. And you never would have thought that the Mati has been here since 1982. Okay? Been here this whole time. The truth is right before your eyes. And you can't ignore it. And people are so blind. I'm walking around every day and people do not even see me. They don't even know me. They, they don't even see me yet. They don't even see me yet. Okay. People are blind. You are blind. You are blind. My YouTube channel is low traffic. You people are blind. You are blind. You're blind to the truth. And if you really sought God with all of your heart, he would show these things to you. But most of y'all spend most of your time on some bullshit. That's what y'all be doing. Straight up bullshit. And we are living in the last day. Time is winding up. We living in the last day. You better get it right here. You better get it right here. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. Tell the Arabs, come holla at me. Tell the Arabs to pay up. All the nations is going to pay up. Okay? We've been living a humble life when I am the heir to everything down here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me I was the earth. He said I was the ear. He said I was the heir. All this stuff belongs to me. All of it. All of it. And that's why the devil has been trying his best to keep me broke. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the judgment has come. It has come. I am the Bilal, the Adan, the last Don that is on top of the Kaaba, that is in the Hades. The Bilal who's been waking you up. Waking you up. And as long as you keep ignoring me, you're going to keep facing the judgments of an almighty God. Adon is here. The last Don is here.